Well, I would say, um, you know, when you get here, I would, I would go out, you know, and try to make as many connections as you can. And uh, um, I did that for a time while I was here and just trying to network. And, uh, you know, I would say not to turn anything down either. You know, always say yes, even if, even if it's something that you think is not going to pan out to be anything. Or if it's something that you feel is daunting, like the music you don't want to tackle. I, you know, a lot of times I've found uh, things that I thought were not going to be, you know, maybe up to par or uh, weren't going to be satisfying. It was the complete opposite. They, those things turn out to be the most rewarding. And, and it's funny because... There are a lot of times, you know, you get a call and you're like, oh, I'm not sure, but but then you do the gig or, or whatever, and uh, yeah, something always good comes out of it. You know, it's funny. I don't know how that happens, but but uh, yeah. So I would just say, you know, go out, see live music, meet people, introduce yourself. Uh, uh, you know, play as much as you can. Take whatever gigs are come your way, and. Um, and just keep at it. That's the thing. Don't give up. Uh, I mean, I, it took me years and years to, you know. But my thing was I was too stubborn to do anything else. I, was, I got in and I was like, I'm not going away. I'm here. So, so eventually they will, you know, they'll recognize I would you. love to uh, <laughs> give a shout out to uh, uh, Jim DeCola over at Gibson. Uh, he is... Um, He's uh, he's designed a new pickup. I don't know if you've seen the new Gibson bass, but he's the one who designed the pickup for that bass. And uh, actually, they they made me a Thunderbird, and he actually put that pickup in it. So uh, I'm uh, really grateful to Jim. I would also uh, like to say uh, um, uh, Andy Elliott from Elliott Guitars. Uh, uh, he's based out of North Carolina. He made me a great, great uh, uh, P bass, and it's got a P, it's like a PJ combination, and it just sounds fantastic. I've been using it a lot, along with the Thunderbird out with Cheryl. And also, uh, I have to give out a, a shout to James Pennebaker at Fender, because James has been so great to me over the years. He's given me artist deals, and uh, he's really hooked me up. So James and Jim and Andy, Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And also Steve Clayton at Clayton Picks. Uh, still use his picks. And uh, uh, Steve, he's brought me out to the NAMM show a number of years and had me sign at his booth. So really like Steve. And, uh, and um, who else? I'm trying to think. Tom Spalding over at uh, Diodario. Uh, he's hooked me up recently with some cables and some tuners and some strings. So... Thanks, Tom. So, what about amps? What amps are you using these days? I'm still with Ampeg, and I've been with Ampeg for years. Uh, uh, Stu Scott uh, Patterson, he's the guy there at Ampeg. Uh, so I've been using Ampeg stuff for years. I've been using a flip top with Cheryl, but I'm hoping to go back up to. Uh, I've got a 610 cabinet. I had an 810 cabinet with the SVT head, and uh, I think it just got too much for Cheryl, uh, and she wanted to drop our stage volume down so I went to a flip top but now I'm thinking I need to go back up a little bit <laughs> so I'm going to try a 610 cabinet now